Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a radical equation. Now, typically with radical equations, if you isolate the radical and square both sides, we'll end up with a quartic equation, which is sometimes not very easy to solve. So we'll be using a slightly different approach here. We'll use substitution. So here's how it goes. I'd like to manipulate this equation a little bit first. So I'm going to go ahead and write this as x times x plus 1 plus 6 times the square root of x plus 2, and that's equal to 18. So what I'd like to do here at this point is I'd like to use substitution, okay? So for that purpose, I'm going to call this u. So square root of x plus 2 equals u, and let's write down what it means. Uh, this means that, first of all, u is greater than or equal to 0, right? That's required. And then I can square both sides and get x plus 2 is equal to u squared, and x is equal to u squared minus 2. So now this substitution basically allows me to write x in terms of u, and then uh, hopefully it's going to simplify our process, okay? Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and substitute that into our equation here, and let's see how that proceeds. All right? Okay, let's see what happens. So I have x squared plus x, but I wrote it as x times x plus 1. So I can just go ahead and replace x with u squared minus 2. And then x plus 1 is going to be u squared minus 1. And then I have 6u, and that's equal to 18. This is kind of nice because you know why? If we were squaring both sides, we would have to deal with 18 squared, which would have to be a large number, 324, so on and so forth. So, And we would have to square um, a trinomial, lots of terms, and put it together. So let's see how this helps us. So we're going to distribute, obviously. This is going to be u to the fourth minus u squared minus 2u squared plus 2 plus 6u is equal to 18. Obviously, you want to simplify this a little bit. And what is, one of the good things about using this approach is that we don't get a cubic term, okay? And as you know, if you're trying to solve a quartic equation, one of the first steps that you do is get rid of the cubic so that you can reduce it, and it's called a reduced quartic, and then you can just go ahead and use it. And we do the same thing with cubic. We try to get rid of the uh, quadratic term. Okay, so... What am I going to do? I'm going to simplify this. Uh, this is going to be u to the fourth minus 3u squared plus 6u. And I will bring over the 18 here. So that's going to be 2 minus 18. And that should be negative 16. The whole thing is equal to 0 now. Nice. Okay. So you might be looking at this equation and wondering what could have been done, right? Uh, well, it's a quartic, first of all. Uh, we could go with possible integer solutions and we can test out some divisors. But something should catch your eye here at this point. Uh, if you look at the first and last terms and put those together and then write the rest. Now, this should give you a clue about how we might have proceeded. So u to the fourth minus 16 is definitely factorable. If this part is also factorable, then we'll be good to go. So and what does that look like? Well, this is, first of all, a difference of two squares. So let's go ahead and write it down that way u squared plus 4 and u squared minus 4. And if I can take out a negative 3 u here, I'll be getting u minus 2, which is good news because u squared minus 4 is divisible by u minus 2. Awesome. So we're going to factor further. So let's go ahead and do this. u squared plus 4 multiplied by u plus 2 times u minus 2 minus 3 u multiplied by u minus 2 and the whole thing is equal to 0. So since we have a common factor here, which is u minus 2, we can basically factor that out, right? So let's go ahead and factor the u minus 2 out. And we should be getting the product of these two terms. And that is going to equal u cubed plus 2u squared plus 4u plus 8. You know, remember the 2u song, right? The happy birthday. Minus... We're going to get 3u from here. And again, this is equal to 0. So this is nice because we know that one of the roots is going to be u minus 2. But this is we're also getting a cubic here. So let's go ahead and see what happens with that cubic and how we can find some solutions from there. But we got to arrange it first. 
So when we do, it's going to look like u cubed plus 2u squared plus u plus 8. And then this product is equal to 0. Nice. Now, let's go back in time and check something. At the beginning, if you remember, our substitution involved the square root of x plus 2, uh, in which case uh, we need to get a non-negative quantity. So u is greater than or equal to 0. So that's important. That's why I kind of wanted to write it, um, you know, first thing before we got into the final solutions. So we're going to back substitute, but it's also important to remember that u is a radical and it needs to be non-negative. Okay, if we're looking for real solutions, of course. So u needs to be greater than or equal to 0. So let's go ahead and take that into consideration. How do you take that into consideration? Let's go ahead and write this down. u needs to be greater than or equal to 0. And we know that u is equal to the square root of x plus 2. But that's going to come later. So right now, what is that supposed to mean for us? Um, well, u is not negative. Now, if you consider this expression here, if u is not negative, u cubed plus 2u squared plus u plus 8, they're all positive terms. And if u is not negative, they'll never be negative. They're always going to be positive. So right now, this expression is actually greater than 0. And what that's supposed to mean is that it can never be 0, right? Because it's always positive because of the 8 we're adding. Even if u equals 0, then this expression... Uh, will always be greater than zero. Okay? Awesome. So, what is that supposed to mean? We don't really get any real solutions from there. So, what we get is the only one that comes from u minus 2 equals zero, which means u is equal to 2. But we said that u is the square root of x plus 2. So, square root of x plus 2 is equal to 2. If you square both sides, you get x plus 2 is equal to 4. And from here, you get x equals 2. So that's going to be the only real solution to our equation, and that's basically a good point to stop. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.